race number 10, which is the second last uh, on the program. The 10th is the Good Fortune Handicap, class 3 over the 1400 metres, headed by another Hong Kong debutante. This is Dragon Commander, a three time winner in Italy. Magic Legend takes the drop back into class 3, where he's unbeaten in two starts. Splendid Timing makes his Hong Kong debut, a two time winner in Australia. Fearless Far Third, last start behind Bank on Red. Roundabouts, a two time course and distance uh, winner. Perfect Buddy. It's up to the 16, oh, sorry, the 1400 metres here for the first time. Young Legends, um, a last start winner here over the 1200. And Pickin, who was runner up behind Carefree Prince last time out, but goes up in class tries, class three for the first time. Beauty Spirit and Good For You have been up at Chung within the last month. Good For You most recently returning on the 28th. Right, the speed of this race, well, Magic Legend and Lucky Dollar probably potentially could buy for the early supremacy here. Young legend, the racing club horse potentially gets caught out wide. Does he offset that by rolling forward or try and slot in? I tend to think they'll go forward uh, from the 1400 metres is a bit further before that first bend comes up. They've got to roll the dice, I, I tend to think. Um, pick and gets a lovely run, you would imagine, from three stepping up in grade. Yeah, I'll come up short, sure, picking money. Here's Dragon Command. He comes off an awkward little rating here of 80. He's got 133 pounds. He does have the apprentice claim, though. 1,074 is what he weighs. He's had four trials to prepare him. Uh, I thought this wasn't bad. This is Strathbury. He's running earlier in the day with Roundabout. He's well rated now, Roundabout. He's uh, down to uh, uh, the, the last rating that he won at, and he's a two time course and distance winner. So his track work's definitely picked up. And Pickin, as you mentioned, is going to get the perfect run just in behind. And he comes in with a little a light weight here, but he is up into class three from class four. But uh, everything's going well for him. All right, we'll come back and uh, have a look at that run again in a moment or so. Let's uh, start off, though, with Beauty Spirits. Um, wide into the straight here from barrier nine. He gets the inside gate this time. Yeah, this is a good run. He, he did hang out a little bit in the stretch. I think, ultimately, he might even want a bit further, this horse. You can see he doesn't really do anything quickly. He just sort of finds that one speed and... There's a little bit of um, a build there just now and coming into the last 150. So that, for me, suggests that he wants a little bit further, but I will put him in the tips. He's had six starts now. He still looks a little bit green, doesn't he? He's just yeah. sort of hung a little bit. So, yeah, yeah I didn't find a spot for him in the end, but, uh, look, he, it wasn't a bad run, that last one. All right. Young Legend, a, a last start winner. This is over the 1,200 metres, though, so he gets up uh, to the 1,400 metres for the first time, but he's got barrier 14 to go with it. He yeah. has, and that might be the issue, Paul. Yeah, it looks, looks, does. I haven't put him in for that reason. He did win nicely enough over 12. There was a lot of support for him. He went out a 3.5 favourite. Karis Teton does uh, stick with the ship, but from 14, I think he just might find it a little bit more tricky. It's a good effort. He pulled up with blood in the track here, too, after mm. this, so solid enough run. Um, I like the way he's going. I'm going to take a little chance that Karis can offset the gate 14. We saw the speed map. There's not a lot of pace underneath him. I think they will go forward and try and get a spot in behind. All right, so let's go to the favourite then in Pickin. Uh, we saw this run earlier with Carefree Brintz fighting back, and I wouldn't question his attitude um, at all. I think he's just out-battled in the end. He'd won his previous two. Yeah, there was 17 or 18 pounds mm. between the difference, or maybe even a bit more between the two in the final stages. But the gap from second to third is, I think, um, the, the telling factor here. Uh, this is a, a typical John Size horse, isn't it, that sort of gets going. Has three, four, five starts, six, now seven. Gets the job done, goes up into three, draws well, lightweight. They generally thrive in that situation. Yeah, I, I think he's going to be tough. He's got a, few, a lot of things in his favour, but he's going to come up pretty short, yeah. I thought. He will, yeah. Paul's right. By the end of the day, if Joe's already mm. had two or three, you're going to, $3.20 might end up being a dollar sixty. Yeah. And that doesn't look overly attractive. No, yeah. just a bit skinny, doesn't it, after that. So, Last Kingdom, very impressive individual. He's still an entire, by frankly, he's a five-year-old. Actually went off favourite for this, but it was a very wide market. It was 5.5. Oh, handball to Paul, because I know he's had time for him from day one. Yeah, banned him before this race. Uh, and he didn't go too badly. Unbanned? To think. No, he's still banned at this stage. He, this is his best run, though, to be fair, running a fifth. He's had ten starts now. He looks the goods, to be fair, but um, no, I haven't put him in. I, I think he's just starting to get better. Acclimatisation's probably been an issue for him. The fact that he ran a mile here and he comes back to 1,400, I think we'll see him stick a little better. So, um, quartet, first four horse for me. All right. It's uh, picking John size. Joe Moreira once again, Paul. Yeah, it looks, it looks tough. I'm, I'm going to make this my uh, long shot race, so um, roundabout. I like this track we're reading into this. He's a two-time course and distance winner. He'd be 20 to 1 plus, and I just think he's coming right. He's, this is, uh, he's had plenty of runs this season, a very fit horse. 
So we'll do him, uh, and I, he's going to come up like four or five dollars a place. So I think that's a better bet than than Pickin. So I've got Pickin in a clear second though. Voyage King with the blinkers back on. Tongue tie goes on him. Cheek pieces come off. Just drawn ten. He might be just a bit tricky. And Fearless Fire looked really good winning at Happy Valley. He's an interesting runner for me coming to Sha Tin, but he's drawn a little bit wide. Eight, fourteen, five, and six. But happy to take the eight each way. Yeah, fair enough. I think if Pickham wasn't in this race, it'd be five dollars the field. I reckon um, it's very open with him out of it. So I'll tip him to win. Sorting out the miners. Young Legend's going well despite the wide gate he goes in. Beauty Spirit's still a work in progress, but I like the way he's going. Last Kingdom back in trip. I think's an interesting runner. Um, you can see there with my trio, I've got Magic Legend in as well, gets a drop in grade. I've got a bit of time for Perfect Buddy too, who I know you're going to sneak into yeah. your four, Andrew. So I think the bank is solid. Um, finding the other spots is going to be tricky. Yeah, and no, I think, um, you know, as Paul's identified, it's a good race probably for a long shot. Yeah. It's an each way yeah. sort of race for me, but picking uh, on form the one to beat in race 10. One more race to go then, race number 11 plus all the best bets. That comes up next.